Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your host, 1HP Tom, back at it again. And today we have the Splatoon 3 Direct. It's about 31 minutes. I can't wait to see what's in store for this third person shooter. Yeah, for the third installment, hopefully the story is good and there's more gameplay elements to explore than just the, the weapons. So without further ado, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from me, and let's get into the reaction. Squid Reacher's research lab, research report, presentation. Good. I gotta move my mic a little bit. I gotta, I gotta see the screen. That's, that should be better. This is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. It's also the hottest new place for Inklings looking yeah, for things to do. this place looks awesome. Look, oh, yeah. hello everyone. Like Hope you're something? all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by I will what be these inklings this game with can motion do. Controls. They can splat ink in kit form. At least and I'm gonna try to. swim through it in swim form. We've been studying their biology day and night. Today, we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. Of course, what That's goes cool. for the Inklings also like applies to the Octolings. We're sure of it. First, Turf War. The classic, okay. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, Turf War battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink I mean, for it is three minutes. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Yeah, the about stuff we, like the game is pretty much revolved around this simple now, concept. That's not all inking is for. Oh, bow. Ink walls to swim Forgot up. about the bow. You can go or horizontal or vertical hide that. ink that's to crazy. splat opponents. The more ink you spread, the bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. This is, New this is kind of like, like a, uh, a squid search to swim up walls. You've never played burst. Splatoon before. And this the is squid how you play. Roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around. Unfortunately, I don't uh, fall in that camp, so I'm just gonna chalk over this. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. Wait, what? Okay, that's new. That's new. I didn't know that. We've discovered where these turf war battles will take place. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include Scorch Gorge, Eel Tail Alley, okay. Mincemeat Metalworks, and Undertow Spillway. There seem to be other stages as well. They'll probably be coming. Hagglefish Market, Ooh. a pier filled to the bream with street vendors. The stuff this one, here this looks one brings fishy, a lot more though. color. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Museum Del Foncino. Oh, that's good. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern museum. Take special note of the rotating wall. Oh wait, this is new. Hammerhead Bridge. This bridge connects Greater wait, Inkopolis wait, wait. to the Splatlands. You're fighting After on a bridge. Lots of construction Bro, work, that's actually kind of cool. It's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, transit hey, to a, these are a lot of stages. I mean, easy. they gotta have at least eight if they Mahi, want to do like a whole Mahi rotating resort. schedule. A luxury resort in Greater Inkopolis. Dude, that's so Pay cool. close attention to the platforms that sink as the battle goes on. There will be more areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splat them. What? Including the stages you see here, a total of 12 await. And then we got some uh, recurring, uh, like, uh, four. More stages will be added in free. Four classic ones. 
But eight new courses. Or around eight new courses. So I'll now, have to go back and look, look at that. Let's get into the inky essence of battles. Weapons. First, it appears that all of the basic weapons from previous games will be available. That's good. On top of that, Splatland specific weapon types, such as the bow like stringers, will make their destructive debut. Dude, that thing looks broken. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. Splatana? What? 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 This is the Splatana, Splatana. Wiper. What? Send blades of ink flying <laughs> ah, with a centrifugal so force generated like a by swinging. Let's go Splatana. Swing after charging up a bit, <laughs> and it'll transform into a charged slash. As expected, it's powerful as a long range. Man, I love, I love the creativity. The charged slash at close range is also quite devastating. I do love the creativity for this. Let's dive into the weapons that can help you claim even more turf. I'm more interested Special in weapons. like the uh, the single player stuff and as the name implies, these are special kinds more than of just weapons like the weapons. that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. There are some new types we've identified. So let's but take the, a closer the new, look. Uh, the new alts this look pretty cool. This is the though. tactic cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. That's a You'll fridge. find in-game beverages stored inside. Wait, what? These have a variety of effects, no. like momentarily increasing <laughs> speed. <laughs> That's so funny. They come in packs They're of like, four. hey, let's so put a fridge in the game. Share the rest like, with your teammates. A tactical. Oh, it's so funny. This is the wave breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll waves also of mark an opponent's location or and no. cause damage. Oh. Try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. That's gonna make for some like, Finally, unique the reef slider. fighting. Build up power, then charge into opponents who need a good Dude. Slot. Once the attack ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Dude. Familiar special weapons like the Tenta missiles, Ink Jet. You know, the Tenta missiles back, Ink, ink Jet, Storm. Yeah, ink Storm. Ultra Stamp. And Booyah Bomb will also make their grand Ooh, return. Nice. But the gentleman baller Special is not weapons coming are back. Paired oh, with main weapons. So find the combo that suits your splatting style. Shop here to get your tentacles on some fresh weapons. Oh no, Sean, I gotta this talk a lot. This is Ammo Knights, owned by the chatty horseshoe crab, Sheldon. Yeah, Sheldon the locals talks a have lot. praised him for his wealth of weapon wisdom and sophisticated selection. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Sheldon licenses? Obtain them by leveling up through battles and by consistently using the same weapons. Oh, one Sheldon so license now. can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your that, level. That's actually pretty cool. Like, the more weapons you oh, use, the easier us, it is to level up. If you up. exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. Wait, what? So weapons that are locked behind By like the way, a higher level. And you don't have to just grind to get, to get it anymore. Savvy about their that fashion. is awesome. Things like headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons. I love to how pixelated the glasses look. Hilarious. Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. Each one is managed by an interesting. I will say keeper. that this game looks so like drop in. pretty incredible. It's like you're like running around like modern day this Japan. This is not Couture, a headgear shop. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get ahead of the game. The laid-back Nautilus, gnarly Eddie, and the energetic Nails, the snail sitting here, run the shop. Oh, nice. This is the clothes boutique, Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, squid. like t-shirts and jackets. Oh, that, uh... The shopkeeper, Gel oh, Lafour, snail, I mean. might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. And finally, the shoe store crush station. 
Get a variety you know, of cool kicks here. Cr Crush literally got sandals, like a bodyguard for the third one. <laughs> it's owned by Mr. Coco. He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. Probably. You're more than welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance, but they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. I'll say it again. Yeah, it's just it's just like Splatoon Take 1 and 2. Take run speed up, for example. It can increase your running speed. Or intensify action. This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. There are even more abilities But to you know discover. what's great, though, is that they're actually Plus, explaining what the abilities and do instead of us trying to kind of figure it out or another. not. Oh, I remember this guy. Talk to Merch here, and you can but add the he, he, he more in to your favorite uh, gear. Too. Technically, they're not all supposed to be the same people, anyway. He's also orange. And if you save your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits, you can change in a flash. Oh, you can save Flavor combinations. Flavor up your fashion with okay. whatever outfits you want. Simply splat-tastic. Yeah, it looks like you only save five, though. Welcome I don't to think the there would be lobby, that many that are more. Fresh battles. Like... I don't think there's going to be enough clothing battles aren't the only to be like, here. oh yeah, you can, you can have, square should have more than five, unless you just want to put you random stuff together. Rankings. Hold the active zones in splat zones. Yeah, I love splat zones. Ride the tower, tower to the goal too. in tower control. Carry the Rainmaker to its destination in I mean, Rainmaker. Funny enough, uh, in ranked, I, like, I was I was an A rank. I mean, score in it really just depends on your team. Duke it out in these four modes. Legitimately, it's mostly just uh, solo. Want to take on a challenge solo? Select Anarchy Battle Series. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. Oh, okay. I wish I had a fourth friend to play Splatoon. I mean, I may have a whole Set team. It really depends. To your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? So, uh, if you're watching this and you want to play Splatoon 3 with me, and you want to play ranked, let me know. Website. I am down. Now, let's talk about the features within the lobby. The features within the lobby. This is the test range. Try out and get comfy with your. Oh yeah, I mean here. there was like a, a training thing, Besides but like they said it's in the lobby. This is like before. Like this is also up. before the match. Rivals to join a battle. Which is crazy because Next up, that wasn't like ghosts. that before. It was separate. Online friends will appear as 3D holograms. What? Drop in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. Oh, that's cool. You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. Oh, let's go. Okay. You'll be able to see what your friends are up to. That's so cool. It appears that you can also call out to friends in the lobby and invite them for battles. Why not see these features for yourself? I feel like I know these are like standard features that should just be in games anyway, but like this is, is like big for replay. Nintendo. <laughs> It appears that it can somehow And you can see battle replays. Bro, like you can it, the, the people Fast who do forward. Splatoon competitively and they make like they do competitions and or stuff like that. That's part. crazy because now they can actually Three analyze their stuff straight from the game. Incredible. That's actually so cool. Not only can you rewatch battles as many times as you'd like, but there's even a share feature. And you can share you'll use this handy tool to Yo. rank up. That's awesome. Next, we'll analyze and discuss this space within the lobby, the locker room. The locker room. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. Oh, okay, that's cool. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear, and items to your liking. Slap on some snazzy stickers, and modify your locker's color. This it's is pretty your much your banner to frame. Express yourself. And so like customize it however you'd like to show off your signature splatting style. That's cool. I like that. Oh, yes. 
items can be obtained at Hotlantis, a general store on the edge of Splatsville. A general store? Apparently, the store manager vanishes quite often. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's got an outlandish assortment of items. Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? There appear to be plenty of other customization features as well. When battles start, these splash tags appear. Oh, and then you actually they do can be have a banner frame with a banner, badge, before you even start. And title. Bro, that's cool. Additionally, you can change the emotes your character performs when you win a battle. Oh, the emotes, there we go. All of these can be obtained via the in-game catalog. That's which cool. will be available at Hotlantis. I like that. By using points earned from battles, you can oh, unlock put various items, in there, like bro. stuff for splash no tags way. and seasonal gear. <laughs> Following the game's launch, a new catalog is planned to be released every three months for two years. Oh, be nice. Be sure to okay. snatch up everything you see in I mean, two catalog. years is about the time that they did Splatoon 2. I remember having the last Splatfest. Like two years after. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to yeah. take a little breather I'm here. about halfway through, okay. In the meantime, please turn your attention toward this. But what about, yeah, what about the single player? This got to be the single player. Introducing Table Turf Battle! Lay out your cards for a dazzling deck duel! Yeah, like, different shapes wait a minute, with different what? Cards. Charge up power. They made a card game. With a special attack. Dude, this is basically like Yu-Gi-Oh, but with Splatoon. Like Bro. This, and even ones like this. And like, remember the Dungeon cards Dice cards Monsters from Yu-Gi-Oh? Dude, so this is literally Dungeon Dice Monsters packing. Splatoon Edition. This is great, bro. <laughs> what? That's actually hilarious. Every player will be gifted an in-game starter deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. I lost my clampoosier for a second there. That was Table Turf Battle, a 1v1 competitive card battle spin-off of Turf War. That's it just so funny. It appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. Be on the lookout for more details about <laughs> Table Turf Battle in the future. Ooh, the Table Turf Battle Dojo. And now, like it's literally this. a table in the middle of like the city. What you... Salmon Run. Woo! What's new about this? Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids advancing on them. This part-time gig is rumored to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. By defeating yeah, they, it particularly tough. ferocious creatures like, called salmon boss salmon, hilarious, but you can obtain tough. valuable golden eggs. It's fun, but it's, it's tough. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. Because you're also around, locked in to like uh, new types certain of boss weapons. Salmon so let's share our findings. Some of them look familiar. Others look new. First up, the Slammin Lid. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. That's not cool. I don't like Get that. Get too close to it, and it'll attempt to crush you. So approach with caution. Yeah, because if you if you die, you're out for the round, and your team is just down a person. Next, the big shot. It Unless fires they can heavy you. projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shock waves when they land. With new boss salmonids confirmed. Make sure you're ready for an even more dangerous salmon run. See, it gets crazy. Wait, what? They cleared the final wave. This is one of the new King Salmonids. Unbelievable! Jaho soon. Like occasionally appear just before you complete the job. The tank on Yo, your back is a specially provided what? egg cannon. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. What? However, these battles are under a time limit. So rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. 
Like, how do you live? How do you live off of this? That's crazy. And this, this is the still being researched big run. We believe the this is run. when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. <sighs> it appears that this event happens once every few months. So brace yourselves. Big run is coming. That's cool. Okay, cool. Return, return of the mammalians. Observe this Ooh, manhole I can't wait. in Splatsville Square. Ah. This is actually the entrance to the home of the Octarians, the Inklings' longtime enemies. Be a Splatoon if As we didn't Agent have Three, the newest recruit of the new Squid Beak Captain Splatoon, Cuttlefish, who's not the captain with anymore, the but he's still Army, whose members are hey, look. covered in hair for some there, There's the there's our old uh, Agent buddy, Three from the other games. You'll explore many stages, each one full of twists and turns. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. Yo, so newer players that's might so want to cool. try it out. I mean, you well, you get like the version far. of the what story weapon the inklings and if you do all the this stuff. We hope you can witness the like, epic 100 percent like you use every single saga. weapon in every single stage. You get all those weapons in the main game. We're back in Splatsville. From here on out, we'd like to talk about other so features that'll help you enjoy over. your kind of like escapades even more in the Splatoon The story 3 looks game. like there's cutscenes and stuff. You can post illustrations here via this mailbox. They'll but be displayed all across the city and even in stages. It doesn't seem any different from like so put before. On your artist cap and post Maybe away. it's more like vertical Octo illustrations will Octo also expansion? be supported. But we're gonna have to see. Additionally, what's you can grab up. food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Or use local communication to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the shoal. By using photo mode, oh, you can snap oh, there's selfies, a photo mode. send photos to a smart device. That's cool. Oh, dude, you can even Or display them in your locker. You can even just send them right to your phone. This cool. is the recon guide. Select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them. Oh, so Why you can actually see stage prior to battle? what the stage, bro. This is stuff like you wish Apex would do. This you know? is Splatnet Three. You can use this with your smart device. You probably do your it Nintendo contains Switch features online like checking up. your latest battle stats. Yeah. And ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops from the Splatnet gear shop. But that's not all. Access features like Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. Or See, I view never understood history that. to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. But I believe everybody starts at sure C, and there's no like season or anything, so it's kind it of just that how Splatnet high can you climb? Three will be available so. at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. Uh -huh, I knew it. Next up, amiibo figures. Scan Splatoon series amiibo at this spot in Splatsville, and voila! Saving your favorite have, gear combinations think, as precious uh, fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. I have a few. I don't have all of them, but I have a few. It seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with Amiibo. That's actually kind of that's kind of cool. And Splatoon 3 Amiibo incoming. Oh, nice. Release is scheduled for this nice, holiday. pretty nice, actually. Oh, so the Amiibo don't come out until the holiday, but the game comes out next month. Now, let's oh, talk about post-launch updates. Like, uh, supply stuff. As we mentioned updates, a while ago, okay. following the game's launch, a new in-game catalog will be released every three months for two years. Yeah, that's just new one weapons thing. will also be added around the same time as each okay. catalog. In addition, X Battle, available Ooh. after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle, and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results, are planned to be added in future updates. Furthermore, be wrong for if they this didn't game, have them. we're planning to add large-scale paid DLC. Ooh, 
okay. More details will come at a later time. So, so we're about to get some lookout. like really good. And now um, I'd like to wrap like up this research report That's great. from the Squid Research Lab. They, they didn't, Thank you for watching. They didn't surprise us. They just said, "Hey, we're working on it. It's gonna be included later." Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Yeah, like, we gotta learn about the new band, bro. They have fish masks, that's funny. They're not supposed to be anything. No, oh, no, so they're oh, deep cut. squid. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly I mean, the, popular trio who hosts the are, Splatsville news program Anarchy Marina, Splatcast. So, uh, they provide information. Oh no, I mean I, I like the I like the blue other one. news bulletins. I like the way her hair is and stuff. While we're on the subject, the youngsters of much, Splatsville only it. see cucumber phones. Wait, what? They can check the news while see doing other activities, phone. as shown here. Oh, that's awesome. And You're not just forced into the news anymore? Yes! Yeah, don't forget about the Splatfest. Yo, I love this. This actually looks so cool. That's cool. Dude, like, he just looks so funny. I don't know, she kind of had like the eyes of like, uh, Pearl. Hey, but, I, I, this music's, I can get down to this. It's actually really cool. Can't wait to play Splatoon 3. I mean... It's been confirmed that Splatfest will make a return! Like... They better. In I mean, these if events, they don't, you know, you like pick a I, team based on the announced theme, then settle the outcome via battle. And this the time around, there's a third there will be option. Three teams to choose Yo, from. okay. Splatfests consist of two halves. In the first half, because I will say there was always a problem, right? With turf war battles. If, if you had the most votes, then tricolor turf war. Three teams are fighting at once. It's a special mode where what? Whoa! Three teams fight at the same time. No way. All players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. I was literally two gonna say that having the two is cool and everything, but if one team picks one team side more than the other, the then the the side that has the less usually and win the leading team because they're just themselves. better players, or, or they have better matches revenge, because they win more matches because the people Use with the, the most can lose more than wins more. To the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Dude, the but this cut. is crazy. Three teams? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're going to close I, out I this am about this, with actually. an announcement I from am. Deep Cut. Take it away. But how is it like a four on like a four 2v2? Four versus 2v2? I, I would not want to be on the losing team. But that is still pretty cool. I like that. I think it'll, I think it will be interesting and make it fun. So he's holding the TV. Oh, 
This is a sneak peek of what, what the news is going to be like. Let's go. The like, 1 HP Tom will be participating in the Splatfest world premiere. A pre Splatfest before the game even comes out. Let's go. So, uh. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Going pole. My people aren't gonna base this off of whether or not they like rock paper scissors more. I guarantee it's gonna be what character you like more. But they have to do things that have three options. Oh, this music, though. Oh, I am ready. Okay, August 27th, let's go. I'm calling it right now, I'm picking rock. I don't even care, I'm going rock. I'm be like, I don't want to miss it because I am going to participate, let's do this. Catch you later. Oh, okay. That's their that's, that's their thing. That's all we have to share today. Okay. Or not. Oh, wait a minute. What? And now announcing the Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. Oh, nice. This event will take place on September 5th at PAX West. Some of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Follow the official oh, Nintendo cool. versus Twitter account for updates. And to see more of our research findings as we uncover them, follow the official Splatoon North American Twitter account. We hope you'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. Bye bye! Sweet. So we're just gonna go back here real quick. I'm um, I'm excited. Wait, where do they uh, do the courses? Courses, courses. Just wanna look at the stages. So I mean, I am. There's a lot to do in this game, and I'm actually really pleased with it. So I'm about it. I am about it. Are they here? Duke it out in these. No, these are the modes. Modes, clothing. Yeah, I, don't know, I forget. So we talk about the stages before the weapons. No, we didn't. Did we? Uh... A luxury resort. Actually, yeah, we did. There will I be just more see. areas to ink afterward, so don't forget to splat them. Including the stages okay, you yeah, see Okay, yeah, this is where I wanted to be. So, we got four returning ones. And then we have eight new ones. I call that a win. I call that a win. Especially if they want to rotate two every, every, like, two hours they rotate. So say we got Scorch Gorge, then Eel Tail first, then two hours later we got Mince Meat, Metal Works, then Hammerhead, Bridge. Depends on how they want to pair them together too. So that's awesome actually. So I can't wait to play it. Comes out September 9th. You'll see me being uh, playing this uh, August 27th. Hopefully I have the setup uh, ready for that. Because I'm gonna need another, uh, gonna need another uh, Ethernet cord for that. Uh, we'll figure it out. But besides that, uh, I'm your host, One HP Tom. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.